I personally encourage alone dancing, independent dancing, and social dance. Yes, because performances are beautiful, but they are unrealistic. Uh, one of the ways that I encourage doing that is just by dancing with, by myself. And yes, the way that I do my hands now is very exaggerated. And if you are a new dancer, you're gonna feel a little bit awkward. And I have to say this, you look awkward when you do these things and you don't have really the confidence because yeah, people does. And my plan here is not just to teach people to be free and dance however they want to, but I want them to be free, but also keep the culture and keep like res and have respect for the music. I honestly don't believe in the whole wiggly type of dancing thing, but definitely I respect people's opinions. Okay? Don't think about doing one thing with the legs, one thing with the arms, and one thing in your head. Just do it at once. When you're trying to, to separate them is when you cannot do them. But if you just start doing the legs by, by instinct, the hands will follow. Tones being humble and knowing that you're not perfect with you. When you come with that attitude of being humble and not really knowing all, it looks better than if you come all super secure and we all can tell that you still scared. I do not believe in, I do not understand why people say they want to dance and be able to have like security dance in a social event or publicly, but there are not people who dance as, as home, at home. When you dance at home by yourself, you are more conscious and you're used to your body. A lot of times, people being scared of dancing or not having rhythm, it's just you're not used to your body. You don't use it enough. You don't play with it enough. And I mean in the playful way of movement and rhythm and just being allowing yourself to be silly. Don't trust in the middle. Don't learn dancing through the mirror. I think that to me that's the worst uh, way for somebody who is very scared to do it because you're relying on the mirror in order to validate your dancing. And when you don't have the mirror, that's when you're gonna suffer or you're gonna start doing like this robotic routine type of thing. So my advice is do it at home, but do not rely on the mirror. Just be comfortable with yourself. If you want record it, so to later watch it, but don't make the reflection of you to be the validation of your dancing. Otherwise, a when you don't have a mirror, you're not gonna be nothing. You have to really trust your body, own your body, and be comfortable with it in order to do it.